No. Welcome back, guys. This is the Gaming Hut, and today we're going to do a little bit more redstone, a little bit of a how-to. So this is a how-to about how to build a uh, horse racetrack. Now this goes along with the 1.6 update. Uh, it's kind of late, but it's for the 1.6 update. Now you see two stables. There could be as many stables as you want, and the track can be as long as you want. This is just for uh, purposes of showing you how to make this. So inside each of these stables are, is a barricade and a lever. Now when you hit the ready lever, it goes ahead and says Jockey 2 ready. Now the number changes depending on which uh, one you're in, so this one would say Jockey 1. But um, once you hit that, that's your ready signal. And if I get into this other horse and go ahead and press the lever, it'll go ahead and start a countdown. Now this countdown uh, is just attached to this lever and I'll show you right now. So it says ready, set, go. And now once at the end, there's these two pressure plates, and once you go across them, it tells you who their winner is. So Jockey 1 won that race. So over here, if Jockey 2 finishes, it will not say he won the race, or she. Now if you hit the reset button, what it does is it resets the thing so you can have a new race, and if Jockey 2 wins this time, then it says Jockey 2 has won the race, but if you go over to Jockey 1, it says nothing. So let me go ahead and reset it. Uh, basically, I use a locking mechanism right here. Oh, no, not there. Right there. And uh, that's right over here. I'll show you that real quick. Now, these um, these redstone dusts, you can ignore those. It's just to show you if it's powered or not. And basically, it's just two pistons. Oh, the horse just kind of walked all over stuff. But the uh, there's two pistons with a gap in between and a uh, redstone block on this, uh, in between them. And you give power to one side, but not the other. It pushes it, you retract, and now this side's powered. Now when you add a signal to the other side, you retract, it turns the power off, turning power to this side, if you want power here. You might not want power there. So that's what I have over here. So this is the endpoint that tells you who won. Uh, all it is is two uh, pressure plates on top of blocks over some redstone dust. This redstone dust then gives power to these uh, repeaters, and it gives it to this co these command blocks that say, slash, say, whoever whoever won so you go ahead and stand on these whoever won that's really simple and uh, what it does then is it goes ahead and gives power to the lock pushing the redstone uh, block over there and this sends a signal all the way down going to the next thing I'll show you in a second but here's the reset button the reset button is just a button attached to the redstone going into the back of the uh, piston that's in the lock. Hello there, horsey. So you go ahead and hit the uh, reset button. It pushes it, puts it, puts it back. Sorry, and um, you go ahead, step on the pressure plates to go ahead and start again. And um, so here is the part that makes it so that if one person wins, the other person does not get the message. So when normally it'll be like this. Oh, it'll be like this it'll be open and once the person on top goes ahead and steps on the pressure plates that would be right here it'll power that powering the repeaters telling the command block to go off but in this case this person won so it sends off a signal closing these pistons shutting off the signal Oops. and uh, it's very basic very simple these redstone lamps are behaving like normal blocks you could actually put any block here I just decided to do lamps and it um if it gives power to the piston right above it so over here is the place with all the uh, where the jockey is getting ready to go for the race so all it is is two levers attached with uh, command blocks and uh, it goes and connects to a AND gate. This AND gate means that like both this one and this one have to be um, have to be turned off for the action to take place. So I'll go ahead and hit this one. Jockey 1 ready. Now it sends a signal turning off one torch in the AND gate. Now you can see this one is still powering it so nothing has happened yet. Now when I hit the other one, what it does is it sends a signal to, to turn everything off and says ready, set, go. So let's go ahead and power that back on. And basically what happens is uh, it sends a signal down here to turn it off and when this turns off, this not gate or opposite gate turns on to, uh, making this command block say ready. Now over here 
it's the same thing, another not gate with a six tick delay. Uh, over here is a total of a 12 tick delay, one, two, three, four, four times three is 12. Uh, so it's ba uh, basically it's um, the last one. So you see the last one, that's three ticks. So you want each one of these repeaters to be on three ticks throughout this entire thing. So uh, you go ahead and get, it gives off power to these repeaters, which then turns this to say set, and same thing over here, which says go. So you go ahead and hit the switch, it turns, oh, wrong switch, go over here, hit the switch, ready, set, go. And then you go ahead and the race begins because the uh, pistons drop. So I'll go ahead and give you a little um, flyby so you can go ahead and pause the screen and get all the redstone down. So there's the uh, stable, this is for the stable. Over here is for the uh, winner circle, I guess you'd call it. I'll give you another view of that so you can see the things you cannot from there. There's another view, and I'll give you a third view from behind. Hopefully that's enough for you to go ahead and copy this onto your server, onto your Let's Play, onto your single player, what, what have you. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please click that like button below, and if you wouldn't mind, go ahead and subscribe for more of these videos. I'll see you guys next time. Keep on building!